Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you'll join us tonight for the uh, prophecy class that we are involved in. It's part three, but each class stands alone. And they're, they're really interesting and a fascinating discussion, um, presentation about how prophecy is unfolding before our very eyes. History is unfolding before our very eyes in the land of Israel today. So we're talking about spirituality. Great topic. Everybody is committed to uh, wanting to grow spiritually. What does it mean? We're trying to get at the core of it. It's a hard thing to define. But I think at the, uh, at the foundation of spirituality is an understanding that human beings are not a final product. Like we were talking about before, let us make man. That we are, maybe it's been said that a better term could have been, instead of calling us human beings, we should be called human becomings because we're always a work in progress. And there's an understanding that we are just uh, more than the kind of the sum of the, our biological makeup and that we always have the ability to change. I remember once having a conversation, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, but I was talking to somebody and I was trying to encourage them to consider, you know, growth and changing in certain ways. And this person said to me, but Rabbi, you know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I said, you know, you're absolutely right, but I have news for you. My friend, you are not a dog. You are a human being. And a human being can continue to grow and develop and change until their final breath. There's an amazing medrash that I wanted to share with you. The medrash talks about a uh, story where there was a king that lived in the times of Moses. And this king was curious about this Moses. He had heard about this Moses parting the Red Sea, leading the Jewish people into the desert out of Egypt. And he was curious what this Moses looked like. So he hired a number of artists to go and find this person, Moses, and paint a portrait, a portrait or several portraits of him and to come back. So they brought the portrait back to the king and the king looked at it and he brought it to one of his advisors who had the ability to uh, decipher a person's personality based on facial uh, understanding, a facial portrait of how that person looked. So this advisor of his looked at this picture and said, I don't know who this person is, but I can tell you he's jealous, he's angry, he's impatient, and he lists the whole litany of bad character traits. And this was a very wise advisor, so the king said, you know, my artist must have done a horrible rendition because this is Moses, the famous Moses, the leader of the Jewish people, led the people out of Egypt, received the Torah from God on Mount Sinai. So the king said, you know, I'm gonna go myself and take a look and see if where they messed up in the picture. So they went, he went, and he saw this Moses, and sure enough, those artists, didn't, they didn't miss a hair. He looked exactly like the portrait that they had painted. So he approached Moses and he said to him, I don't understand, my, my uh, advisors have explained to me that based on your portrait, you should be mean and angry and vindictive and selfish and all these terrible traits. So Moshe said, Moses said, you know what? Because when you change yourself inside, it doesn't change the way you look on the outside. I was born with all of those negative traits that your advisors saw with all those bad qualities. Those were innate qualities that I was born with, but I worked extremely hard and I overcame them. So when you analyze my portrait, you're gonna see those negative qualities, but that's not who I am any longer because of how hard I've worked. It's an amazing medrash, an amazing story, and it makes us realize that we always have the ability to change ourselves, to improve upon ourselves, because we are human becomings. Have a great day, everybody.